Now, I know there's a rather sticky swamp of a conversation when it comes to video game difficulty, but I for one don't actually mind a good tutorial here and there. I mean, after all, with games like Dark Souls that use a brutal boss as an opening move, you learn the skills you need to survive in a trial by fire manner. However, saying that, I could also do without, say, a Kami 30 minute tutorial, which put so many players off they didn't even see what a wonderful game it was. Ideally, tutorials should be kind of in the middle, a display of features, some enemies to test them against, and the option to skip the whole affair if you so choose. However, the examples on this list, well, they had the right teaching method, but just at the wrong time, and managed to leave players clueless only to fill in the pieces some hours or even years later, which left the fan base reeling. So let's gear up and head out, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video games that had a tutorial way after you needed it. Number 10. The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Let's start with the most obvious game of the bunch. While The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings was a great improvement over the original, and indeed steered the franchise towards the critical acclaim it would reach with the third entry, it still lacked a tutorial mode. This meant that players were thrust into combat straight away without any clue on how to battle effectively. It was enough for players to simply stop there and then, which is obviously not what CD Projekt Red would want in the slightest. As such, they would eventually add in a tutorial a year later with the enhanced edition which saw a release on PC and 360. This made the whole process much smoother, and it's actually quite mind-blowing how it was missed out of the vanilla version, if we're honest. Luckily, lessons were indeed learned, with The Witcher 3 being the brilliant gem of balance and challenge that it is today. Cool, blimey. Number 9. Warhawk this severely underrated online shooter for the PlayStation 3 marked one of the system's first online hits in 2007. Taking to the skies before dropping down and blasting foes on foot was actually brilliant. Well, as long as you could get your head around the controls and steep learning curve. With three ways to play, the game was cursed with having to make sure that each experience felt right, but this came at the cost of being almost incomprehensible to newcomers, and the devs' responses to check the hint boxes was more than a little insulting. And remember, this was a game that many players would have never have heard of, so it really did need some introduction. Eventually, though, over a year later, the devs added in a training mode, which did what the original should have done. However, they dropped the ball again because the DLC that they'd added in the interim, with new vehicles and transport options that also had entirely new controls, wasn't in the tutorial. God's sake, guys, get a grip. Number 8. Team Fortress 2 Team Fortress 2 is still going strong today after its 2007 release. With this game, Valve created one of the most well-recognized and all-around hilarious IPs in the industry. So why did it take them so long to add a basic tutorial? I know that FPS games usually have the same premise of point gun at thing, click and watch it die, which isn't that complex, but with nine different classes, maybe they should have at least included something. Initially, players had to get by with video tutorials provided for each class, though these gradually became out as Valve continued to update and change the title's gameplay features. A whole three years later, after its initial release, Valve added in a pretty lightweight training mode to get players familiar with four out of the nine characters. Yes, four. Talk about half asses. that's not even half the roster! I mean, clearly they were busy working on other titles, right? Right? Number 7. EVE Online when it comes to brutal difficulty MMOs, few are as complicated as EVE Online. Still going strong over 15 years after its initial release in 2003, this all-encompassing space simulator has garnered a considerable player base thanks to its rich world building and focus on autonomy. However, it's a brutal place for newcomers, as you'll likely be griefed by entire factions without even knowing what the hell to do. And yet, in the spirit of pure autonomy, the devs simply shrugged and said, figure it out for yourself, mate. Now, EVE has never come with a built-in tutorial, instead entrusting its community to learn the game's systems and gradually work their way into its intricacies. While this has allowed the game to expand exponentially, it also locked out swathes of the community when it came to accessibility. The closest that we ever got to a resolution was this web page that dropped in 2019 titled Get Started. And while it does give a brief understanding, there is no way that you'll be able to thrive with this information, basically meaning that the only way to get immersed in this game is to have a veteran show you the ropes. And remember, nothing in this game comes for free. That is a lesson that I'll teach you right now. 
Number 6. Minecraft As the best-selling video game, and say it with me kids, of all time, Minecraft needs little introduction. Over the last decade, it's been tearing up the charts and making its way onto every game system known to man. But with that said though, the game was initially a little perplexing for some. Its minimal art style combined with a large amount of craftable items meant that many players took a fair old while just to get used to things. Some might say that the lack of tutorial allowed Minecraft to gain its initial cult following because as the community grew, so too did the pool of knowledge gifted to other players by those that had already mined deep into its features. And it's actually developed into a state where the community will now fill in the blanks for the devs as soon as the updates are released, which effectively means that they never have to provide any explanations going forward. It's kind of a win-win for them. Number 5. Planet Coaster Planet Coaster from Frontier Developments marked a return to the long dormant theme park simulator, acting as a kind of spiritual successor to older classics like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Now, generally, the title was well received, a successful revival of the park creator with a ton of content and plenty of ways for would be owners to express their creativity. Hell, our very own Rich streams his park builds on his Twitch channel Rich's Live every single week, and you know what? I'd encourage you to check it out. But one gap that some players found, however, was the game's lack of tutorial on launch, something that many critics pointed out as a major frustration, and the lack of even a few basic tips stood out as rather questionable. With little to distinguish between different game modes, nor a scenario for teaching new players the ropes, Planet Coaster prefers that you just get stuck straight into the core gameplay and figure things out from there, which is great if you know what you're doing, but torture if not. Thankfully, a month later, online videos aimed at helping players began to surface, and fans were finally free to ride to their heart's content once more. Number 4. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds in its current form, there's likely only a few gamers who don't know what Player Unknown's Battlegrounds actually is. However, even though this title was in early access for yonks, never has it actually seen any form of tutorial to explain what the hell to actually do. This is the result of it coming from an already established game, or should I say mod, for Armor 2, the infamous DayZ. This offshoot was so popular that eventually the creator of the mod, Mr. Player Unknown himself, took the concept and gave us the winner winner chicken dinner formula that we all know and love. So for those that were on this journey with him since the beginning, this all made sense, but for everyone else though who'd never experienced a battle royale mode with these strict conditions, they would just likely be saying what the hell is going on? It was only when the mobile version of this game came out that a tutorial mode was added in to help the more casual mobile market get to grips with things. You see, you see, it's just because he thought that we were all just too smart. Oh my god, what are we like, eh? Number 3. Final Fantasy XI Returning to the MMO scene, we have Final Fantasy XI, the first entry into the venerable RPG franchise to tackle the online space. In the years since its 2002 release, a passionate community has continued to play on PC, but they likely only do so just to justify all of the hours spent learning to how to even play the bloody thing. Long-winded skill trees, complex quest lines, and an incredibly slow start all saw players dip out long before the going got good. And on top of that, there was little in the way of a tutorial, at least for the first six years after the game's release. And even these tutorials didn't help the player with the myriad of small choices that could affect things greatly such as what job to take or where to even start the game. It wasn't until the September 2008 game patch that an official tutorial was added via three NPCs that the player could find in the world. It's not much, but it did help to keep the title relevant for the next few years. Number 2. Tekken 7 now, you might be a sarcastic ass and look at this title entry and just be like, well, you don't need a tutorial if you're playing as Eddie Gordo, but shut up for a second, friendo, because believe it or not, Tekken 7 didn't come with a single sniff of a tutorial mode. And this might not be that bad for some casual fans who just want to load up the game and have a scrap and just make do with what combos they either remember or come up with on the fly, but this was an absolute nightmare for anyone looking to learn new characters' moves. It was also a feature that was rightly expected because it had been in every other Tekken game to date. Bandai Namco, though, well, they had other plans, stating that the reason that it wasn't put into the game was because it wasn't worth their time, as according to them, players rarely used it. Oh, I see how it is. We well, you know what? Them's fighting words, friend. And number one, World of Tanks. 
Arguably the most popular game put out by Wargaming, World of Tanks built its name on getting players behind the wheel of a wide array of powerful armoured vehicles from the 1930s through to the 1960s. Judging by its consistently higher player number, it remains a tantalising title online. However, it's slightly less fun for those looking to learn the game at a reasonable pace because for years there wasn't any form of tutorial to be had. Four years after its release, the 9.12 update was unveiled in October 2015, with one of its central features being the Proving Ground mode. Chosen for players with less than 10 multiplayer matches by default, this PvE edition allowed newcomers to duke it out against AI-controlled tanks, giving them a safe place to get to grips with the game and test things out long before going up against more highly skilled opponents. Honestly, it's a brilliant addition, but one does have to ask why it took so long for the feature to be added. We all might be keyboard warriors after all, but not all of us are made to be armchair generals. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 video games that had a tutorial way after you needed it. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you want to chat to me further about all things to do with video games, TV, film, whatever else, then go over to Twitter and go to at RetroJ with a zero to find your big bold bad boy here. But while I've got your attention, why not go to Live and Let's Dice here on YouTube? It's my gaming channel. That's right. I've got a gaming channel free from the shackles of what culture, where I get to do and say whatever I want and play games that I never otherwise would get the chance to do so. But before I go, I just want to say one more thing, and that is, you know what, tutorials, they might be a bit annoying in some places, they might be stuff that you already know, but it's worth going back to basics every once in a while, and we can definitely do that with ourselves, to dial back the manual and go to page one and ask ourselves a very important question of, are you okay? Because if you're not, that's actually all right. Knowing when you need help is a very important step on the road to emotional recovery. And I hope that if you are in that situation, that you realize that you have friends, family, and professionals in the support industry who care about you and want you to do well. That is also important to realize because you are not alone. You are a bloody big ledge in my eyes. Now go out there and goddamn smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>